All right, I got some simple MML going on over here. And first of all, uh, I'm going to start by clearing the screen. It's not really necessary. Mostly just do that out of habit. But what you are going to want to do is clear a track for you to put your uh, song on. So in this one, I clear 128. And then I'm going to use a BGM set D, which is, I assume, is stands for data. Because that's basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to list, you know, the number 128. And then it's going to read the data from at song. So it skips down to over here at song. Now on the first data line, I have at 30. That's my instrument right there. Uh, that's telling it to play the guitar sound. So, uh, and you can try it. I think it goes up to 255. Yeah, from 0 to 255 are all different instruments. And I think it actually goes beyond that. Like, even beyond that are, are drum tracks and stuff like that. I'll, I'll cover all that stuff a lot later. But I just kind of wanted to show you the basics, and then I will post some links to some more MML uh, materials in the description and here I have my data these are my actual notes that I have playing in the song and you see I have numbers after them now the numbers stand for the length of the note default the length of the note is four and uh, basically the more you go up in the number the shorter the note is down uh, one is a whole note and then you could just kind of guess you know how long the notes are from there now what is up with this less than greater than sign this changes the octave that way this G and this G this uh, G right here is actually an octave lower now if I wanted to make that G an octave higher I would just put the opposite of such things and uh, I'm just gonna kind of put the speaker up to the microphone so you can hear what the song sounds like I think this will work let's see where is the speaker on the 2DS <laughs> but yeah anyways that terrible amount of noise is what we have here and there's there's a whole lot more to MML, and I think it's it's best that if you really want to experiment with it, you just go to the links below, and they'll teach you everything you want to know about MML. But I mean, if you really want me to continue, and just kind of walk you through how uh, each thing it, with MML is done, I'll do it. 